Hello there guys, my name is Coast Chat YouTube channel, Longest to Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to today's theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new news update on a fantastic new kids area for 2023 at Leolandia in Italy. Now this is a smaller European park and they're really expanding here with this brand new area themed to one of the most popular kids shows around the world. So before we go on the details about that, I just want to quickly tell you guys uh, to keep subscribing to this channel. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. Two, two. Um, and, you know, keep up to date with all the videos. Get the notification bell on because we're uploading a lot more on this channel now. Um, we've got a lot of videos coming. Uh, we've got some uh, loads of you wanting me to react to polls. So I'm going to put some polls out uh, over the next few days and uh, do, do some reaction videos to record over the weekend, well next weekend, um, from them. We're also going to be looking at a few different things, we're going to be looking at some next five year plan projects, because of course there's no Six Flags announcement for this year, so of course, you know, I think that we're going to be uh, doing a lot more of those Six Flags and Cedar Fair next five year plans before the end of this year. Um, and we're also going to be looking at some more Clope Not Forgotten and Fact Files and review videos as well, so there's going to be a lot of wide range content coming on this channel now over the next few weeks um all pre-recorded and all will be here so for now let's get into talking about this brand new kids area themed to the tv show bing at leolandia in italy so for the few people out there that are probably thinking what the hell is leolandia well, this is a small theme park that opened in 1971 at Capriate San Gervasio, which is in Lombardy in Italy. Uh, it currently has four roller coasters, uh, so in alphabetical order, for those of you who need a bit more um, history on this park. We've got the Leo Coaster, which is a Zampola family gravity coaster, which opened at the park back in 2007. You've got the Mine Train, which is a combo variant Zampola powered coaster, which opened back in 2009 at the park. You've got Twister Mountain, which opened the year before in 2008, which is a compact Zampola twister coaster. Uh, so that's like the twister that used to be at Lightwater Valley, for those of you who are in the UK. And in 2018, they opened Vroom, which is their latest coaster. This is a Preston and Barberry uh, family coaster. Looks a very good coaster indeed. And um, yeah, just a little bit there about the park. They've got um, they've got some other defunct coasters. Uh, you've got the Brew Camella, which was an old wacky worm from 1998 to 2005. You've got the Garden Express, which is again another, other, another wacky worm, which operated and closed both in 2007. You've got Speed, uh, which was a one inversion loop coaster, which operated and removed in 2006. And you also have the Thriller, which was operating between 2006 and 2007. That is a Pinfari RC500, uh, RC50, sorry. That's a 500 then. Uh, it's operated as Thriller at a few other parks. Lunia Park, Euro Park, Milano, Idriscalo. Then it went to Leolandia. Then it went to Edenlandia um, during 2010. And then it ended up at Happy Land. Um, in Turkey where it was operating between 2017 and 2018 uh, now recently with Leolandia they've announced a partnership with Akamar Films to create a brand new themed area to the Bing TV show so according to a report from impartmagazine.com uh, Akamar Films announced a major new partnership for its preschool hit Bing with Leolandia Italian, Italy's leading theme park destination for young children and ranked number one in Italy by TripAdvisor in the last four years. As the first multi-year theme park agreement for Bing, the long-term partnership cements the popularity and longevity of the brand in Italy, which has been going from strength to strength since its launch on Rai Yo Yo in February 2018. So, even though I said Leolandia was a small park, I say small in terms of the scale of the other bigger parks for the thrill seekers, like Cinesetta World and Rainbow Magic Land. Um, but in terms of their achievements, they're not a small park. That in terms of achievements, they're actually one of the bigger parks in Italy. So it's kind of small in terms of the bit ma major scale attractions, but it's not small in terms of the park's achievements and what they've done in recent years. So Leolandia are no fools. They can't be messed around with. Uh, and they're doing this fantastic new partnership for a brand new area. 
The new agreement will enable the theme park, which is close to Milan, located close to Milan, uh, to become the first park in the world to host a dedicated Bing themed area. So, obviously, Poulton's Park had the first ever Peppa Pig world. Um, obviously, Europe's only Thomas Land back in 2008 at Drayton Manor. Uh, the world's first World of David Williams area coming next year at Alton Towers. So there are some firsts in terms of themed areas for families. And this is going to be the first Bing themed area in the world. Now, the partnership grants exclusive rights in Italy to Leo Landia for the development of a fully themed 9,500 square meter area. With the first phase due to open in 2023. So this is going to be about three years from now. Uh, or or, or under, to, uh, under three years from now. Because uh, it will probably be open by the spring of 2023 anyway. Uh, this attraction will feature interactive play areas, live show venue, restaurants and shops. And aims to create a fully immersive environment that brings the world of Bing to life. Now the deal between Leolandia and Akamar Films was brokered in close collaboration with Maurizio De Stefano Licensing. Who represents the Bing brand in Italy and managed a highly successful licensing program of over 40 licenses. That's a big company. Uh, now the plans for the theme park attraction followed the overwhelming, overwhelming success, major overwhelming success, of a test meet and greet activity and an exclusive show with Bing and his friend Flop at Leolandia back in April 2019. So this is kind of like the Peppa Pig world story at Poulton's. They start with some meet and greets and they sort of want to discuss maybe an area and they proceed to the next stage. That is literally the story. This is just replacing Peppa Pig with Bing and Leolandia replaces the role of Poulton's Park. Pro uh, providing hugely popular thanks to Leolandia's storytelling abilities with a guest rated experience of 9.5 out of 10, the partnership was extended for a full year in 2020 as discussions began on a permanent area within the park. Giuseppe Ira, the president of Leolandia, said as follows. The partnership between Leolandia and Akamar Films, both well renowned in the kids entertainment industry, has produced great feedback and results from the 2019 season. The park has set many precedents with the most beloved characters, exclusive areas and dedicated shows attracting millions of visitors over recent years. Innovation and vision are our driving forces, therefore we are very pleased to have signed this agreement extending our collaboration with Akamar Films and Bing and the strength in the popularity of Leo Landia amongst our core preschool audience. We look forward to enriching our offer with the exciting development of a dedicated Bing area at Leo Land. Now, since its launch on TV back in February 2018, Bing has rapidly become a top preschool property in Italy. A firm favourite on Rai Yo Yo and the number one show on its app, Bing is also available on pay TV channels DA Junior, where it's the number one show, TIM Vision, and soon Amazon Prime Video. Bing's Italian YouTube channel has an amazing, an amazing 438 million plus channel views and 32.6 million plus watch time hours in just two years. A hit at retail, Bing was named Property of the Year 2019 at the Bologna Licensing Fair Awards. So with the uh, interactive play areas, live show venue, restaurants and shops and a fully immersive environment, Bing at Leo Landia is going to be an excellent investment in 2023. So that was the big, big story from ImpartMagazine.com. Again, massive shout out to them for all the information in this video. Now I'm going to share my thoughts on this because I think that Leo Landia are really going down the right route with this. You know, they're the, they're the number one sort of preschool theme park in Italy. They attract the audience of families very, very well. Uh, they were number one on TripAdvisor for Italy over the past four years. So they're no mucks. They can't be mugged around. Um, yes, they might not have the big thrill attractions like the Cineseta World and the Rainbow Magic Land. However, Leo Landia are definitely up there as one of the big family parks in Italy. Arguably the biggest. And it's about to get even bigger in 2023. One thing personally I like, and I know that, you know, back when the coronavirus first started, Italy was one of the most affected countries, and it still is very much an affected country now. Um, I like how Leo Landia are providing a future for the families to return to, and, you know, hopefully by 2023 this virus will all be over, and we can go out and enjoy the theme parks like we used to do again. Um... But Leo Landy are definitely providing a family's future investment for 2023. And I think that's a pretty good year to invest in. And, you know, this whole Bing area looks very, very good. And I really am looking forward to this. So, 
Uh, like it said on there, interactive um, sort of, you know, experiences, live show venue, uh, restaurants and shops. So it's not going to be like a full area like Peppa Pig World or Thomas Land or, you know, World of David Williams where they'll have like a, some actual rides and attractions. It'll just be like an interactive area and it will be, it'll be interesting to see what kind of attractions they do put into this area specifically. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a live show venue. That'll be where... You know, they'll put the usual meets and greets to do with Bing. Uh, so, of course, you guys know, like I said earlier, uh, that in April 2019, of course, they did a full program this year in 2020. Uh, they did have the, the meets and greets with Bing and the live show. Uh, I'm going to suggest they're going to, they're going to move that over to this live show venue in the brand new area. Obviously, we don't know exactly whereabouts it's been located as of yet. Um, but hopefully, we get more details on this. We'll report on it in future episodes. Uh, but this is definitely a very exciting development for Leolandia, and I think that the park are going to do themselves a lot of justice. They're going to do themselves very, very proud. Uh, being, as a, being such a big family project in Italy, and such a big family IP, and you know they're kind of going down the Poltons Park route with Peppa Pig World, and the fact that they're taking this massive IP in their country and developing it into a whole themed area. So the kids will get very immersed in all the Bing characters, and it's it's kind of like Peppa Pig World. It kind of feels like that in a way because. Um, once you step into the area, once the kids step into that area, it's going to become very immersed and, you know, if they watch the show a lot, they'll be able to recognise some of the characters and listen to some of the sounds, recognise the sets. Uh, kind of like Peppa Pig World at Poulton's Park, kind of like Thomas Lane at Drake Manor, kind of like people who read the David Williams books, they'll recognise it at Alton Towers next year. Once you step into an atmosphere of an IP, you'll be able to recognise if you watch it straight away, all the different things around you. So this is going to be a very exciting investment for the park and very, very good indeed. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update from Leolandia. Like I said, more videos are set to come over the next few weeks pre-recorded uh, for those days which don't have theme park newsroom updates on them. Uh, we do have some exciting projects still to report on in 2021, 2022, 2023, including this one now. And uh, it's going to be a big, big year up ahead in a few years' time. So... Thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the okay bell for, not, for more thrilling content. Make sure you keep subscribing. We're getting closer and closer to nine, 1,900 subscribers. I can't believe I'm saying 1,900. It's getting too close, man. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Make sure you go check out our Farouk Summerland video from earlier today. Have a nice day.